But in the process of this particular dragging on social media, <laughs> Apostle Michael Robo was called a lizard. But why would someone call Apostle Michael Oropo a lizard? This Nollywood actor based in the US came across a video of Apostle Michael Oropo talking about those who go to the gym to work out and those who get to dye their beard. And let me play the video for you so it doesn't look as if I'm speaking out of context. The devil will come and deceive young people. You spend five hours every day in the gym building your chest so that you wear singlet and walk about and show people chest. How much do they give you for big chest? At best, they hire you as a bouncer. You become a bodyguard. You will spend so much time on chest. Dye your beard, shave it, and you are walking. Only you is rubbing hand on your cheek every, every second. Yes. Where do they get all these clowns from and call them pastors? Where? If I talk now, they go say they insult pastor. How can a man who calls himself a pastor climb the pulpit and be talking rubbish? So keeping fit is now devilish. And you're talking down on a man who earns legitimately as a bouncer, who is better than you, who depends on your members to pay tithe and offering, while you ask your members to depend on God. Oh, wow. No be every lizard will climb pulpit, now be pastor. We should be very careful. Okay, so that was the first part of his reaction to that. And this is what I have to say. Sometimes most of these reactions or social media trends is not because of um, someone will sit down and then be watching the whole message and looking for. Most times it's people that are in that church, people that are following these pastors or any pastor that watch the entire message or are even part of a church and they get to extrapolate those particular, they get to extract those particular portions of a sermon and then amplify it. So there are people that are in the media team or maybe people that love the preacher so much that decide to extract what they want to amplify and put out there, which may not actually be in the context of what the preacher was preaching about. But with that particular statement, is it right in any context with respect to how Prince AK got to react to it? Being someone that walks out a whole lot, also dyed his beard. So it's more of like he felt personally attacked, even though Michael Oropo would, might not have been thinking of him when he was doing that. Or, you know, or maybe does Michael Oropo know him personally? Or was there a mental picture of who he was talking about at that time? I don't know if you understand. So, for example, me that gets to talk about things that happen in church, I don't sit down and then go to this particular church, sit down and be watching their videos and then trying to know what I'm going to find to talk about. I don't have that time. The thing is that many of these um, micro blogs, like maybe Church Gist or maybe all these channels and these pages that are created by people who are fans of this person or that person, and they post videos about them, short, short clips. Those are the ones I see. And it draws me to want to find the original message. So I get to have a proper reaction to what I'm listening to. So my reaction could be a promotion or a criticism or even asking you questions. Just that sometimes you, the viewers, cannot even differentiate what I'm doing. Anytime your pastor is being talked about, he's being called fake. But again, not everyone listens. So after his, this video, it, it was trending on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, I'm on Instagram. And then guess who got to reply? Vico himself, who is known to be more of like in the same WhatsApp group like Akbe. And he gets to make music. So he got to reply Prince AK. And this is what he had to say. Ah, man. This is all about Prince AK. Bros, you fuck up. I've been your fan since way back, since you were, uh, I mean, since way back, all your movies, I've been a great fan of you, before you relocate to the United States, you know. You know, that video that that pastor was talking about, uh, you know, being a bodybuilder is a crime, and though the pastor was wrong, the pastor was actually wrong, but you're calling the pastor a laser, come on, bro, you know, in fact, you yourself, you are a biggest laser for, to call a man of God. A, like to call the man of God a lizard. Boy, you don't come now. In short, I go, I go and follow you. I will unfollow you tonight. 
I will unfollow you. You fucked up, bro. How can you call a man of God a big lizard? I know the man of God, the guy fucked up for saying all the shit that he said because it's nonsense. Yes, I don't follow you. you as a follower here because sometimes i have to ask you people the fans or the followers what do you think do you think what he said was right or do you think what he said was wrong as well as they get to react to it you understand based on what prince himself said because looking at i'm not i'm looking at right now the issue between these two quote and unquote celebrities i don't know if i would call vico a celebrity but of course if you if you know vico you know that he has a kind of interesting way of making music which is of course quite interesting but seeing that these two people are talking about someone that is uh anointed you understand and then him coming in his defense is just quite interesting so that means michael Ropo is making good waves i would say those of you coming to my page to throw me that I called your pastor a lizard, you guys are more stupid than I thought. Your pastor said in his words, you spend all day working out. You spend five hours building your chest and at best you'll be hired as a bouncer or as a bodyguard. What makes him think that everyone who works out wants to be hired as a bouncer or as a bodyguard? Come to think of it, what is wrong in being a bouncer or a bodyguard? Does he know how much Julius Dubois earns as a bodyguard? Your pastor thinks like a lizard. In fact, a gamma lizard is smarter than he is. And some of you are saying things like, Oh, this one a straight bullet. You know, affect me. Apart from being an actor, I'm a release train engineer in America. But this is his response as well to Vico. He says, yeah. Vico, I try to watch what you post on Instagram, but I don't understand anything because the only thing while they hear you talk, you say, yo, man, Prince, you fuck up, yo, man, Pastor, you fuck up. I don't understand anything. Bro, who fuck up? I don't even know you and your music, which one with they confuse, pass. If you get sense, you can understand, say, I don't get any personal problem with this pastor. I have a problem with his message, the tone of his message, trying to demonize those who walk out, those who keep fit, those who keep their beards and take care of themselves. I see they're the ones that sleep with random women. When we know Senna Lepa like and Nadem was pass. Or those who work as bouncers and bodyguards, they're not doing legitimate jobs. Bro, being a pastor is not a profession. I can be a pastor. If I rent a hall, register a name with the Corporate Affairs Commission, buy oversized shoe and I know how to shout, I can become a pastor. Definitely I'll get gullible Nigerians that will be my followers and I'll do magic for them. Simple. Bro, try make you get sense. Peace. Uh, Prince Eke himself said to, to some extent he makes a lot of sense there when he looks at the fact that he clearly said that he doesn't have a problem with him personally and that's why sometimes when I get to talk about these things people think I have a personal vendetta against anyone no I scroll on platforms just like how you see videos yeah like right now you have seen this video you are typing whatever is in your mind in the comment I don't see videos and start typing in the comment that's not what I do I see a video, I have an opinion of what to say about that. I pick up my camera, make a video, and I post it for people to see what I'm thinking. You are writing in the comments, people only see your opinions in the comment. That is if they are watching my video and looking at the comment. But I make videos about my opinion of what I see. Like I'm sharing this right now of these two people having a back and forth about Michael Oropo. Do you understand? <laughs> Nalek, him saying that Nalekwa like them. <laughs> anyway, you know where we have been before on this platform, so I don't want to go into that. I don't understand something here. Please, EK. Please, EK. Nigga, you see the go. I tried to make you understand something, trying to correct you. I thought it was right because you my nigga. Like a kind of, I was I was a big fan. I was a big fan of you. But now you're you going to when you mention my music saying you don't know the one that is confusing you whether my music or me i don't understand that for saying that you have insulted my personality and i demand a public apology from you and i'm giving you from now to sunday if you don't apologize to me publicly i'm going to enter the studio i'm going to cook my 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 house for you then i'm going to cook my ass for you and bring down and break down your life history and your, your life your story life you feel me 
This is a warning. So all of this is just about the person of um, Michael Oropo. And these two people are just having an interesting time here on social media. What do I think about this? It's okay for you to, you have freedom of speech to say what you want to say here on social media. People also have the freedom of reacting however they want. I, for a person, many people come out and then make videos about me. Even pastors make videos about me. I decide how I want the tempo to go if i want to react or not react some people i don't get to give them my attention because of course i understand that i get to react to trends and the trends i react to would be actually public figure kind of trends i am not i don't see myself as celebrity or as a popular person whatever numbers you see in this platform how many people are following me does not to a great extent mean anything to me aside the fact that people are engaging with the opinions I get to put out there and I get to learn from people as they also get to learn from me the way I see things. I don't know if you understand. So with this particular subject right here, when pastors are preaching, just like last time when we looked at uh, Michael Oropo and his example of uh, Obi Kubana and then when he was talking about David o, you see the way he gave an example of Obi Kubana and then people that are in the world, people we don't know about their world. We discussed about that. People were calling me names in the comments because I was simply reacting to what he said about someone that is perceived or what I say said to be in the secular world. I don't know if you understand. So, of course, Michael Oropo himself gets to make really um, relatable examples when he's preaching. Maybe recent, I'm going to look at a video in the future where he talks about, you know, gospel minitas. At least with this one, he's looking at people that are in the same, um, likely in the same, you know, Christian circle. So we can discuss that as Christians, whether you agree with him or not. But based on this particular fact, and then how he got to talk about those who walk out and all that, I think he was just giving an example to his audience with respect to being a canal person and being spiritual <laughs> many times anytime i talk about something that it's not in agreement to quote and unquote a pastor the comments i read is going to be you are canal you don't understand spiritual things and that's what they're going to read in the comments right now people are going to say oh these are canal they don't understand spiritual things but one thing you don't also know is that no matter how spiritual you are congratulations you also need a healthy mind in a healthy body for you to function spiritually. You don't kabash and then tongulate spiritually. You tongulate and do that in the body. So you are in your body even while you are being spiritually activated. So you need a healthy body for you to live a healthy life for the spiritual essence of your manifestation to be sustained. I don't know if you understand. So him looking at it from the point of being healthy, keeping fit, and then Apostle Michael Ropo looking at it from the point of if that is your only focus aside being spiritual, I think there has to be a balance in between. But like I said, with the description of what Michael Ropo was saying, him being a public figure who just saw that maybe on his feed, reacted to it because he felt... Like, oh, come on, what is this person saying? And if you go on his page, it's not as if every time he gets to talk about, do like reaction videos like I do. I think probably he was just scrolling. He came across it and he reacted to it. What do you think about both parties? Till I see you next time, the name is George. Elijah, Elijah, stand on fire. Let's smile down.